Hey everyone, and welcome to the second to last, the penultimate, finally a chance to use the word, the penultimate episode of Shareware Vagaries, my first real edited series on this channel. <laughs> Most likely not the last one, but it's been a good time. But now for the this CD it would be Jazz Jackrabbit as the featured game. The other games on this one. Once again, a late night recording, so that's that. Red Hook, Stunt and Visual. 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 God, the accent is too thick. Visual. Visual. Alright, alright, enough of that. Let's start with Jazz. I don't think this game needs any introductions whatsoever, but we owe it a bit of a bit of a play around. And here is Hell yes. It's him, it's Jazz. Haven't played through the uh, complete version, but maybe one day. Yeah. Pretty cool. The soundtrack is so memorable. Uh huh. The internet, goodness me. Okay, let's give it a try. A very iconic game. Haha! It's so good. Oh, you're gonna hear the squeaky spacebar key. But he wanted to say hi, regardless. Kill this rabbit. How about no? Haha! Bit of a special weapon and bullets for them. Yeah, just not a whole lot to say. Enjoying it. Like, I comp I know completely... Uh, I completely know what the games are about. I've played this one and I've played the second one. Never until completion. But I've played them nonetheless. So this is just as I remember it, just as I experienced it. But... Can you jump on these? Oh yeah, we're invulnerable. And it's aged remarkably well, honestly. Yay! It's basically the Sonic of the DOS. Oh, taking a bit of hits here. Need to be more careful. Oh no. Got roasted. Never quite understood the purpose of a time limit in a game like this. Flap hit discs for score power-ups. Oh. Been a while since I had carrots. Actually, that's a lie. Quite often I put some in my tomato soup. Bees, the real bastards of Mother Nature. The most gruesome creatures of Gaia. Here we go, first stage. Not the best score, but there it is. Oh, we don't get... Ah, oh, yeah, need to play for a little while longer. Want to see this bo the bonus level, at the very least. And hopefully... One of my favorite levels in general. It's just, it's so pleasant. What can I say? I'm probably gonna pick up the game after this episode is done, honestly, just to, just to play it. The second game I should definitely delve into, because it's been uh, like 12, 14. I don't even know how old the game is, but it's been quite a handful of years since I last played that one. 
and I've I only have uh, fond memories of it, so I'm sure I'd enjoy it. It's a uh, fairly, how would you say, rapid fire, of course. I feel like the second one was always a bit of an unconventional platformer. In a really good way. It's just, it's different, it's special. This game also has a, a free Christmas episode. And maybe that's something to keep in mind towards the winter. Oh, here we go. I wonder if I'm going the right way. Probably. And here's where the Sonic comparisons should come in. Makes it very safe to kind of just run around willy and nilly. Not so much anymore. Wonder how long the rabbit fire lasts. Definitely one of the better selling games from Epic back in the day. I remember playing this demo as a kid for shareware. Yeah. Does it blow the smoke off the gun? No. Tube electric. Here's the soundtrack. I'll be quiet for a moment. It's about to happen. One of my favorite breakdowns ever. Are you ready? Yeah. Seriously, God tier soundtrack. Like genuinely, like an absolute favorite. I should definitely learn how to play that leg. It's so good! It's so banging. There's nothing better than this. Now it calms down and begins again. Bit of a loop. Alright. Damn it! Come on. Wow, that is cheeky. Come on! The platforming is a little hard. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I would love to play until the bonus level at the very least. You know what? I will. We'll get to hear the tune. As far as I... Uh, we'll be skipping Halloween Harry on this CD because, well... We played it rather extensively on the CD that it uh, had, had the game as its main feature. Oh, the breakdown's gonna happen soon. I'll shut up once again just so I can listen to it. It's so good. Like, <laughs> unbelievably good. 
yeah. But either way, fuck it. Um, the thing is, I'd love to play this to showcase the bonus level. So, you know what, let's do it. Very indecisive episode so far. It's a shame, you know, I haven't played this game that extensively, so I don't really know the other tunes on the game's soundtrack. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I probably do owe the game a full playthrough. I can't stop listening to the tune. You can recognize a good old school uh, tune from how it loops, or rather how well it loops. A bad example would be, um, granted, it's not, not the game's fault, it's the limitations of the time. But in Catacomb 3D you have that, oh, loop by Bobby Prince, by the name of Too Hot. Oh. Yeah, the loop on Catacomb 3D isn't the best, but it was the technical limitations of the time, like year 1990, 1991, can't quite remember. And here's the loop. I mean, these things are given. You probably already know them, but it's still worth pointing out. Rapid fire, here we go. Yeah, I, I can't stop praising the tune. I need to look up the composer and the text box will probably want to give him a bit of a tribute as well. And these work like the ghosts, the, what are they called? Embarrassing, boo, from Super Mario. Oof, almost got hit that by that. Bit of a different power up here. There we go. And I think that clears the level. I think there's two for each type of uh, theme or world. Yeah. Do we get to see the bonus stage? I think the red jewel grants you access to it. Yeah. Yay. It's from a different perspective. And again, Sonic comparisons are there for you to make. <laughs> Always thought it was a bit janky, but hey, what can you do? It's undeniably cute. Oh. <laughs> I mean, everything does look flat, but it's there. And the idea is, idea is great. Although he doesn't control too well for being a rabbit. You can roll up into a ball and he goes real fast, but he bumbles when you hit a corner. And there you go. He's so happy. Gets you an extra life. And the next world is a dungeon level. If memory serves, that is. Yeah. But that's enough of jazz for now. Good game. Next one is Red Hook. If memory serves. This was a fairly good board game-esque thing that I've been looking for for quite a while. Oh. Come sing along to the pirate song. Yeah. This be shower, mate. I I apologize. Press the RF2 key. Okay. That's that's Poseidon, Blackbeard himself. 
Uh -huh. The douche. Okay. This is me. Oh, goodness. There's a skull. Let's play against whatever this means. Can we only have one opponent? Okay. Curious. What setup do? It's been forever, so I can't really remember anything about it. Yeah. I would like to hear the tunes. Very crisp graphical style. Reminds me of like Windows 1 and such. Okay. Um. Okay. That's, that's him. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, now it's my turn. So I guess we, what are these? Okay. Oh yeah, you have to get to like somewhere in here or something like that. Let's roll the die. We be getting a four. Do ye want to fight for this piece of the sea? Yes, yes I do. Okay. Oh, that's a. Give me a six. Oh, it's a draw. Okay, fair enough. Cool. Now it's his turn. Oh. Uh, these are like random events, aren't they? What a cool mechanic. Okay, she's in the game regardless. What happened to her? Oh, this is cool. I only remember the game itself from when I was a child. Oh. But, um, oh. It's controlling, or rather, moving at a fairly curious pace. <laughs> All right, this guy rolls high. Well, they go by their questions so quickly that I can't quite read what's going on. We rolled for one. Let's see what happens. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Red Hook's real happy about that. One more turn and we'll move on to the next one. To make up for the last time. Granted, this game is good. Like really. It's, it's sweet in a way. Come on, there we go. Yum yum. I like that they have a dialogue for like reactions and stuff. Yeah. Although our boats seem to be very much infested. Let's roll high so we can catch up. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I I really honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm compelled to say Jamaica because it's the only one of these that I recognize, but I have a feeling it's this one. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, he was pissed. Okay. Well, now that I've made a fool out of myself is a good time to move along to the next one. Curious game, honestly, plays like a board game. And if you heard that on the background, it was the mailman bringing me something. Next one is something called Stunt. Let's see what it's about. Stunt track. K for keyboard, space. Oh. 
Well, all right then. Isn't this something? Oh. Control and Alt do this. And God, I hate up to key commands. I'm gonna run the go file to see if there's anything special going on with that one. Oh, here we go. Nice. One of the classics of our time. In the words of a famous Let's Player, instant death. There's nothing I could do. This car speeds up real fast. Oh, 200 miles per hour rocket ride in a bucket seat. It doesn't get any better than this. She feels my need for speed. All right. We're pretty much... Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there was a bump on the road. I see how it is. Um, well... It's hard to control. Granted, I am. Yikes. Okay. Crazy Dave did something crazy. Okay. Crazy Dave's ready to get crazy. That sucks. You are dead. Yeah, indeed. Okay, that's Stunt by Scott Elder. I don't know why I'm just blazing past it, but just <laughs> didn't hold my attention. Next one is a V-Trek from 1990. Visual Star Trek, of course. Okay. All right. Let's play as a cadet. Okay then, goodness me, how daunting. Captain's log, star date 300.00. The Enterprise is currently in quadrant 16. The Federation is at war with the Klingon Empire. There are four Feder Federation star bases in the galaxy, as well as one Klingons <laughs> and zero commanders. According to Starfleet Command Intelligence, the Federation can last until star date 3001.60. Good luck, Cadet Kirk. Level 0.10. Alright then. I guess I charted a different course there. There's an Enterprise. I'm just clicking on things randomly, really. Where are the Klingons? Uh, is there a scan? Self-destruct, arm weapons, arm phasers, death ray, oh, casualties, torpedoes, nice. Hmm. <laughs> it's like a, oh, okay, this is cool. Romulans. Never know where they're coming from. Where are they? Those fiends. That's a Klingon. Okay. We took some damage and the Klingons, they left. This map is really hard to figure, you know, like, yeah, for the follow. <clears throat> That's a Romulan. Arm weapons, ray shields. Oh, we killed him. And then... She... Wait, no. Doesn't it take a little more energy? Let's just turn them off, yeah. Now, what is this? Is this like a space? I have no idea. Honestly, a little curious game here. What are you? Stars. Star base. Probably. Does it refuel us or something? Hmm. Well, let's follow these guys, whatever they do. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, so there's unexplored areas. And I guess you just have to find the enemies and destroy them. 
Oh. Run out of energy. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to check these buttons. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Oh, cool. Now, docking, click. All right, we have energy and shields now. Let's fly around a little to see how it goes. All right, if we just click it, we don't gain the energy. If we hit docking and then wait no oh that will require more time than we have got it what was that about then oh days left goodness me I was wasting time wasn't I now what It's curious how they're addressing me as a cadet, even though I'm the one piloting the ship. Okay. <laughs> the Enterprise is out of time. The Federation has fallen. Press any key for evaluation. Well, let's see. Oh, promotion denied. You lost the war. All right. Like a daisy call attitude. Well, I don't approve of that. Didn't we destroy a Romulan? Again, play quit. I will quit it for now. Um, this was Sherver Vagaries episode 16. Uh, the next one is, let me dig it up from here, a bit of an organic quality to the show. It's called Super Games. And it says on the box, one of the best Sherver games you can get from Apogee. So you'll know what to expect on the Backside of the CD, it lists games by the names of Dark Legion, Duke Nukem 2, Helicopter Mission, King Arthur's Court, with a K-O-R-T. The latest updates, playable previews and demos of the newest commercial games and loads of tricks, trainers, chests and hints. Cheats and hints, oh, excuse me. Menu, menu driven for easy access. That might be a bit of a longer episode, but because it's the finale for now, I'm sorry if this actually, no, I'm not sorry. Uh, it's a lukewarm one. Sure. But hey, we got to listen to tube electric. We didn't manage to save the galaxy as we know it, knew it rather. I guess it's past tense now. We drove against the ramp because we went too quickly. But if you live fast, you die fast. <laughs> and what else did we do? We sailed the seven seas and got our peg leg eaten by termites. So there's that. And we skipped Halloween Harry because the last time it was on a disc, I wasted 40 minutes of your precious time on that game alone. But yes, that is this. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. A wonderful period of time in general. Let me send you my good vibes. Lots of love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.